Hi, this is Brian Forster, and we're very close to the Mediterranean in Turkey. And what we're looking at, look at the wall on the left. This is the beginning of what's called Titus's Tunnel, supposedly created, first started by Vespasian in 70 AD, continued by Titus, Roman Emperor, in 80 AD, and completed by Antonius Pius in 161 AD. Now this, I believe what you just saw on the right is Roman work, but there's no way that I believe that this huge um, opening in the bedrock was done solely with hand tools. It's just too big a work. Again, look at the left hand side and look at the right hand side. You can see that the bedrock, which is limestone, but it's also metamorphosed limestone, almost perfectly flat surfaces, vertical surfaces. And as we continue on, continue looking at the wall on the left. Again, very flat, and we haven't even reached Titus's tunnel yet. So as we continue along, again, you can see the flat surfaces in the bedrock. And here, this shows you the depth of how big it is, and how much work would have been required. I think this is definitely a candidate for lost ancient high technology and was found and then fine-tuned by the Romans. I don't think the Romans did this out of the bedrock and were able to, this here, this could be a natural surface. And there in the background, you can see that the giant wall continues. There on the left-hand side, you saw some shaping there, of the limestone. This is a classic Roman arch, so of course this would have been the work of the Romans. Not particularly super fine workmanship, but then again, the big wall continues on the left side and now on both sides. Now this is the beginning of the actual Titus's tunnel and is almost a mile long through the bedrock. The ceiling a minimum of 20 feet tall. The Romans, of course, did have steel chisels and other hand tools, but I think this is way too big of a construction project to have been done solely by hand during Roman times. And again, we continue along. You can see a water channel that has recently been repaired on the right-hand side. That was also probably a, a Roman work. So either this initially was um, something created by water erosion over the course of millions of years, or it's a very good example of lost ancient high technology that was then fine-tuned during the Roman time period. As we walk out, once again, look at the flatness of the wall. And here are upcoming events. In March of 2020, we return to Egypt for my eighth annual look at dynastic works and lost ancient high technology followed immediately by our first trip to Israel to look at megalithic works in Jerusalem and many biblical sites. And then I'll be at Contact in the Desert late May, early June in 2020 in Indian Wells, California. In June also, our annual Inti Raimi Inca Celebration of the Sun Tour, including megalithic and Inca sites, as well as the celebration itself. In August, our annual Elongated Skulls of Peru and Bolivia tour, including Puma Punku this time. And in November, our annual Explore the Mysteries of Peru and Bolivia tour, which includes an extension to Nazca and Paracas.